But we're digging deep, y'all. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart. If you got your book, The Seven Stages of Creation, formally The Seven Stages of Being, we are in this book. We are getting into it deeply. If you've not yet got your copy of the book, you can go on Amazon and get it. You can go order it from our website. Um, or if you need a hard copy, you can send me an email at drpulley at gmail.com. We are still in the introduction. <laughs> give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart. If you are following us in the, in the introduction, I'm laying the foundation. We're doing the groundwork so that we can plow through uh, for the rest of the month. All right, we're on page number four. We're looking at the second paragraph to the end where it says that we will learn how to bring things from the heavenly realm of idea to the earthly realm of manifestation. And our subject for today, it is already done. Come on, affirm with me today. It is already done. Affirm it again. It is already done. Whatever you're seeking, it is already done. Whatever you're praying for or about, it is already done. The vision vision is already done. The dream is already done. It is already done. Your healing, your health, your wholeness, it is already done. The peace, the joy, the harmony in your relationships, it is already done. Yes, the increase, the abundance, the overflow, the more than enough, it is already done. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart. If you know the truth today, that it is already done. The Bible says that God has already given given us all things that pertain unto life and to godliness, which means it is already done. Come on up front with me again. It is already done. I am knowing the truth today that whatever door I'm knocking on, it is already open, that whatever I'm seeking, it is already found, and whatever I'm asking for, it is already received. It is already done. So in the kingdom, we pray in the already. We pray knowing the truth that it is already done. We're not begging. We're not pleading with God. We're not negotiating. Um, we're not uh, going, you know, through all of those changes. We are praying in the already. We are praying in the knowingness that it is already done. And our scripture for today is Hebrews chapter 11 and verse number one. And it says, now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. If it's not now, it's not faith. And we're talking about now faith. Now faith is the movement of ideas from one realm to the other. Faith is that knowingness that it is already done and that we're bringing it into expression. It is all, the fact that you have the idea of it, it is already done. The fact that that desire is in your heart, it is already done. So when we go through these seven stages of creation, we're showing you how to bring what is already done from one realm into another realm. We're just moving things from one realm to the next. Can I say that again? Affirm me. I am moving my good from one realm to the next, but I know that it is already done. I know that it is already done, and I am moving my good from one realm to to the next. I'm praying in the already, knowing that it is already done. We're just moving the ideas from one realm to the next realm, but it is already done. So we don't have to beg. We don't have to plead. We don't have to borrow. We don't have to steal. We can operate in the knowingness that it is already done. And I love that song. It is done. It's done. What I shall be, I already am. It is done. Somebody help me and put that song in our um, on our uh, as a comment as an attachment it's done it's by Anita Wilson it is done I love that song Bishop Hector introduced us to that song I think it was in 2013 and I have been singing it ever since it never loses anointing it never loses power it is already done and sometimes we just got to remind ourselves of the truth that it's already done, that we can get caught up in the world of effects and we can forget that it's already done. So we are praying today the promotion that you're seeking, the counseling that you need for your marriage, the restoration for your family. It is already done. It's done. All right. So we're moving ideas. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart. Give me a high five because God has already given us everything. You're already healed. The Bible says by his stripes, we were healed, which means it is already 
done. All right? So we said, well, then what we're praying about, what we're doing, if it's already done, what we got left to do? Well, we got to move it. We got to move it from one realm to the next realm. Pulley point number one. Pulley point number one is from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm. So what these stages of um, creation that I'm giving you, the silence, the thoughts, the words, the actions, the manifestation, the evaluation, and the progression are the seven things that you need to do to move your good from one realm to the next realm. So it's like to get it, pulley point number one is from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm. How do I get my good that's already done in the heavenly? How do I get it to manifest on the earth? Silence, thoughts, words, actions, manifestation, evaluation, and progression. That's how you move your good, pulley point number one, from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm. In the heaven, it is already done. That's why I said whatever you bind on earth, it's already bound in heaven. Whatever you loose on earth, it's already loosed in heaven. In the heavenly realm, it is already done. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it already is in heaven. So the reason why we're going through these states of creation is so that you can know how to move your good from the heavenly realm into the earthly realm. And the way you do it is through silence, thoughts, words, actions, manifestation, evaluation, and progression. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart. If you know why, how, why we're doing this and how we are creating, it's moving our good that's already in the heavenly realm and bring it into the earthly realm. Did you get that? Give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart if you got that. So pulley point number two, we're moving our good. And I'm just giving you different ways to be able to express it. Some people relate from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm. It's already done in heaven. And I'm using these seven stages to bring it into the earth. All right. Pulley point number two, from the spiritual realm to the physical realm. And the spiritual realm, it is already done. That God has already fulfilled the answer to your prayer. Your prayer is already answered. It's like Daniel. God said, I heard you before um, the first time you prayed. That while you're yet speaking, that it's already done. But what you need to do is to move it. To move it from the spiritual realm. In the spiritual realm, it's already done. There's no lack, no limitation. There's no challenge. There's no chaos. There's no confusion. There's nothing that is uh, that is wrong in the spiritual realm. And so what you're doing is you're bringing it. You're using your muscle of faith to bring it from the spiritual realm to the physical realm. In the spirit, it's already done. But in the physical, you look at it and say, it looks like a whole lot need to be done. So what I'm doing is I'm using these seven stages, these seven things, the silence, the thoughts, the words, the actions, the, we got a guess again with us. Manifestation. I was stopping the guess that is, um, that's with us. Yes. Um, so we're bringing it from the silence, the thoughts, the words, the actions, the manifestation, the evaluation and the progression. We are doing that so that we can bring it from the spiritual realm to the physical realm because God is spirit. And the Bible says, and they that worship God must worship God in spirit and in truth. All right. So in spirit, it's already done, but it's in the physical realm that we are moving our good from one realm to the next. I'm moving it, pulley point number one, from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm. I'm moving it from the spiritual realm into the physical realm so that I can, in the physical realm, I can see it with my eyes. I can touch it with my hands. In the physical realm, I can smell my good with my nose. I can hear it with my ears. I can taste it. I I can taste it with my mouth that I'm bringing that good from one realm to the next. So I know what I'm doing. I know that I'm moved. I'm knowing that it's already done. It's already done in the spirit. And what these seven stages of creation are doing is helping me bring it from the spiritual realm into the physical realm, from the heavenly realm into the earthly realm. Some people think that the earthly realm is all that there is. 
But there's another, another realm going on. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. We're not fighting in the physical realm. The weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So where the, the battle is, is in your mind that you can bring it from the spiritual realm into the physical realm. God is not going to bring it out of the spiritual realm. You into the physical realm. You got to do that. God is not going to bring it from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm. You got to do that. With faith without works is dead. Faith is knowing that it's already done and the work is doing the silence, the words, and I'm going to keep repeating it till you get all seven of these stages, the silence, the thoughts, the words, the actions, the manifestation, the evaluation, and the progression. You got to do that. God is already, the Bible says, he who spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all. How shall he not with him also freely give us all things? It is your divine birthright. It is your spiritual heritage. It is yours by right of divine design and consciousness, but you must bring it from one realm to the next. God is spirit, so you got to bring it into the physical realm. God is that heavenly realm, and you've got to bring it into the earthly realm. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart if you're understanding what these stages are for. It's not to get it done because it's already done. It's not to make it happen because it has already happened. It is so that you can bring it from one realm to the next. Pulley point number one, from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm. Pulley point number two, from the spiritual realm to the physical realm. When you're praying, God is not a Santa Claus. When you're making your list, you know, and checking it twice, trying to figure out if you've been naughty or nice. God is not a short order cook that goes in the back. You give out your request and God go in the back and say, okay, what did you want? Okay, let me go in the back and make it and serve it to you. It's already done. But you are the one that needs to move it. From one realm to the next, from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm, from the uh, spiritual realm to the physical realm. Pulley point number three is from the supernatural into the natural. And let me say, heavenly realm to the earthly realm, spiritual realm to the physical realm, supernatural to the natural are all the same process, but I'm using different terms so that whatever one works for you, you pull that one out. Some people relate better from the supernatural to the natural, that God is supernatural and we are natural. The Bible says things are first natural and then they are spiritual. God is not a Santa Claus. God is not a short order cook. And we're praying and we're praying with people like God is doing it because we pray. No, you are manifesting it because you pray. The answer to your prayer is you bringing it from one realm to the next. When God gave us Jesus, God gave us everything. When God gave us the Holy Spirit, he gave us everything. And so it's up to you to move it from one realm to the next. And so prayer is about you aligning your mind with divine mind. Prayer is about you moving ideas from one realm to the next. And we're taking people's prayer requests and we're going in over it and not helping them really understand that, baby, all we're doing is moving your healing from the supernatural realm into the natural realm so that your back is not hurting anymore. Because in the supernatural, there is no back pain. So we're going to move that healing and that health is in the supernatural into the natural so your back can stop hurting. And in, in the supernatural, your marriage is already reconciled. So we are moving that good from the supernatural realm to the natural realm so you and your husband can stop fussing and fighting. But we're not begging with God and pleading with God to do it. It is already done. We are moving it from one realm into the next realm. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a high five. Give me a heart. If you're understanding that prayer is the movement of ideas from one realm to the next and that faith is that belief that I had the power. Faith is the confidence to know that I had the power to move it from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm, that I had the power to move it 
from the spiritual realm into the physical realm, that I had the power to move it from the supernatural into the natural. And this is not some, you know, hocus pocus, you know, this is not some airy fairy way of doing it. It's no, you know, abracadabra. It is silence. It is thoughts. It is words. It is actions. It is manifestation evaluation and progression. I'm taking the guesswork out of it for you. I'm taking the woo-woo and the spooky out of it for you. It's already done in the supernatural and how you move it into the natural realm is through these seven stages. Give me a thumbs up, give me a high five, give me a heart. I'm gonna give you another example because some people are gonna get it this way. Moving it from the invisible into the visible which means your good is already done. It's already in the atmosphere. It's already in the universe. You just can't see it. It is invisible. Your house is already there. Your car is already there. Your promotion is already there. It's just invisible. And so when you pray, you take the cover off of it. And your house that was there, all the time, you can now see it. Your car that was there all the time, now you can see it. Your business that was there all the time, now you can see it. Prayer puts you in the posture where you can see into the invisible. I think of that song is by the clock sisters. I'm expecting a miracle every day. Just believe and receive it. God will perform it today. Um, and it says... Um, I expect the intangible. I, I see the invisible. Yes. And I and I feel I feel the intangible. I see the invisible. I believe the impossible. It is an expectation that I had the power and I use my power to move that good. That you you think about this scripture. When Peter needed to pay his taxes and Jesus needed to pay his, because both of them need to pay their taxes. Jesus said to him, go to the, go to the water, go to the sea, go to the lake, and there's going to be a fish there. And when the fish pop up out the water, pull the gold out the fish's mouth, and there will be enough gold from the fish's mouth to pay your taxes and mine. When Peter asked for the taxes, the gold was already in the fish's mouth. Jesus didn't say, oh, okay, you need some tax money. Let me find and throw some gold in the fish mouth. No, it was already done. It was just invisible. And so what happened is that Peter, who represents faith, he moved in obedience to the process. And he got the money out the fish's mouth. It was already done the whole time. You were prosperous the whole time. You've been wealthy the whole time. You've had increased abundance overflow the whole time. It was just invisible. And so now you're moving your good from the invisible realm to the visible realm. But it's already been done the whole time. It's been done your whole life. You were born with it done. Before you were born, it was already done. Before the foundation of the world, it was already done. But you've been expanding your consciousness. You've been growing that Christ within you, who is your hope of glory, to move to this realm of the knowingness that it is already done. And to move it from the realm of the invisible to the realm of the visible. That you have the power, you have the authority, you have the divine right to move your good. Pulley point number five, from the intangible to the tangible. You have the power. God is not going to move it from the, into the tangible realm. God is intangible. God is supernatural. God is spiritual. God is in the heavenly realm. You have been given the power on earth. I give you power to tread on serpents and scorpions. I give you power. I give you power. Jesus said that all power is given to me in heaven and earth. And guess what? I give it to you. You have the power to get your good from the intangible to the tangible, where you can feel it, where the money is in your hand, it's in your pocket, it's in your account, you can see it. It's invisible. And so we don't walk by faith. We don't walk by sight. We walk by faith and not by sight. 
Faith is the knowingness that it is already done and I have the power to move it. It's already done. I woke up this morning. <laughs> I woke up at three something this morning to let you know it's already done. It is up to you. If you don't have it, it is not up to God. It's not because you ain't worthy. It's not because you don't deserve. It's not because you did, did something in your past. That has nothing to do with you manifesting your good. Your good is based upon you using the strategies, the steps, the stages to move the good, pulling point number one, from the heavenly realm to the earthly realm, from the spiritual realm to the physical realm, from the supernatural realm to the natural realm, from the invisible realm to the visible realm, and from the intangible realm to the tangible realm. What you going to do? Your good is there waiting for you. What are you going to do? Are you going to move it or are you going to let it sit there? You have an inheritance that's already been set up for you. What are you going to do with it? Are you going to do what is necessary to move your good that is in, all, in the already into the physical realm, into the natural realm, into the tangible realm, into the visible realm, into the earthly realm right here and right now? 